It's Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. A cyclist was dead and missing for nearly three days after a hit and run on US 6 near Edwards. State Patrol believes the cyclist was struck by a car between midnight and 2 a.m. this Sunday. The body was not found until yesterday. The bike is still missing. The driver's not been identified. Call State Patrol with information. A Breckenridge contractor, Justin Ord, appears in Summit County Court today. He is accused of stealing nearly $200,000. Over a dozen clients in five counties say they paid him for kitchen remodels and other work that he never finished or even started. The Vail Daily reports a first-time fentanyl trafficker was just sentenced to eight years. The 24-year-old Washington man was arrested this March on I-70 near Gypsum with nearly 13 pounds of drugs. Under new state laws, resort towns can charge more for new affordable housing and still get state funding. This would make a two-bedroom rental in Frisco nearly $3,500 per month. And Frisco Planning Commission is warning town council, do not let the promise of that state money hurt your locals. Big road delays this morning from the biggest overnight snow of the new year. US 6 at Loveland Pass is still closed. It has been all morning. Copper reported 7 inches overnight, a basin 5 inches. Steamboat, they got another 6 inches. That is over 3 feet in the past week. Copper's $99 ticket deal is back. That deal is good for online tickets Thursdays only tomorrow through April 11th. Copper's donating five bucks from every sale to local nonprofits. Starting this Saturday, free parking in the lower A Basin lot is for car pooling only. You've got to have three or more people. Cars with two or less will pay 20 bucks until noon. Oscar Meyer is hiring a dozen people to be hot doggers. That means driving a wiener mobile. But not just anyone gets the keys to a giant mobile hot dog. Nine News reports they're looking for college graduates with 12 months to commit. Here in ski country, being a hot dogger doesn't take a degree. Just a pair of skis, a rat outfit, and this. Chugging, jumping, sliding, speeding, and that's just in the hot dog. That's courtesy of the immortal trashy classic hot dog. Avalanche danger is up to considerable today in Summit County and the Vale area at and above treeline. Wind slab is your biggest problem. In sports, the Avalanche play the Golden Knights tonight at 8 on TNT. The Nuggets play the Jazz at 8 on ESPN. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family and Dillon. Summit High boys basketball lost by a single point last night to Basalt, 64-63. Coming up this weekend, the Breckenridge Vipers are back on home ice Friday and Saturday. They've got a pair of games with the Reno Ice Raiders. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.